Hello and welcome back to Wasteland 2. So, we're with Gary here and he's wondering who killed all of these monks. So, let's ask him. A uh, stringy, sun-blasted older man with greasy salt and pepper hair. His right hand and forearm are articulated and made of metal. This is terrible. Who did this? Did you do this? No. Then who did this? It's horrible. I was coming to get my escort to the temple as usual and I... I found this. They're dead. They're all dead. Um, do we have anything about his arm? We have some about his hand. Tell us about your cybernetic hand. Dr. Kyle at the Temple of Titan Hospital gave it to me. Really helps with the junk business. I can tear old machines apart barehanded now. I hope the doc's okay. I hope she ain't dead. Uh, tell us about Dr. Kyle. She is the most amazing surgeon ever. Well, you, you haven't met Hope over here. And she'll help anyone, as long as you get, got the cash. Just ask the clinic for Dr. Kyle's special and she'll fix you up. If if she's still alive, that is. Could have been the spies we've seen in the canyon. I've heard rumours in the past week. Soldiers sighted along the roads. Caravans being stopped, but I thought it was just rangers or raiders. These guys look like an army. What do you do for work? I'm a junk trader. I come through here all the time, training from the Monta to the prison. If the canyon goes back to the way it was before the monks came, no, that can't happen. I'd be ruined. You need help? There's... There's nothing you can do. I was planning to trade all the way back to Highpool, but if Titan's piece is broken, there's no way of making the trip. I guess I'll turn around and go back to the Monta. This is a sad day. What do you have to trade? Well, I might as well try to make some profit on this disaster. Let me show you what I've got. So he sells junk, junk, junk. You know when he said he was a junk dealer? He was incredibly honest. Here's some junk for you, junk dealer. We've got like an old mobile phone, some lipstick, all sorts. A uh, D20, just in case when you need that. Goodbye. If you find the animals that did this, give them a bullet for me. Better yet, don't make it clean. They don't deserve it. Alright, well... That's, um, okay, worrying. The canyon narrows ahead and you see a chain link fence that stretches from wall to wall blocking the way, smashed open and lies, uh, okay. In the center of the fence, the gate has been smashed open and lies twisted on the ground while the barricades in front of it have all been burned and ransacked. Uh, the ground all around the outpost is pocked with steaming radioactive craters and the crows pick at the corpses of both servants of the Mushroom Cloud and Black Clad soldiers. The place smells like burnt meat and singed hair, and the only sound is the tiny squawk of a radio broadcasting a sermon praising titan. On the far side of the gate stands a single terrified man, a junk dealer with his cart, who stares horrified at the carnage. Wait, oh that was down there then. Okay, never mind. So that's not this bridge. So this is a monk and some more raiders. Oh, okay, but because we still have our monk, we should be able to just walk in here. Werewolf Wally here with another shameless plug from my hometown, Demonta. Demonta's got everything you can want. Motel, bar, garage, diner, freshwater, scenic attractions, the best only station in Arizona, and the highest standard of living too. Ever heard of air conditioning? Well, we got it, and you won't believe how good it feels. That's capital D, the Monta. Stop on by. Hmm. I'm hearing a lot of nice stuff about the Monta. Makes me think it's not a nice place. Which doesn't make any sense, but, you know. There you go. Head back down. I only wanted to go up the ladder so I could reveal what was there. Uh, head over here. What's going on? Hey, get out of the way, Ralphie. Right, now we can move. Don't need that barrel, but interesting that it's there. Hmm, I wonder if you have to pay tribute every time you come through. And that's why there's so many barrels. Well, probably not. Yeah, okay. More uh, raiders. There's a lot of raiders in here if you wanted to deal with them. Okay. Hmm. Down this way? Ah, we got an alarm on it. Well, we'll disarm, we'll disable that alarm. I mean, they shouldn't attack us anyway, even if an alarm goes off. 
because, uh, you know, then they'd get attacked. Something that goes that way. Where is that way? Okay, it goes to a different area. I see. M more shotguns, huh? Ooh, a level up for a uh, scooter. Copy Ranger team. No, 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 no Ranger. static. Thank you. So Scooter now has some more skills to spend. Wonderful. Again, with Scooter, what we do is we just leave him. We use his skills as and when required. So that's fine. We'll head up here. Very long corridor. Is this where the, th the guy is? So this is the underneath the scrap dealer. So is this where our Diamondback guys are coming from? Hmm. Now there's some Gila monitors. So maybe this is where you go if you... Uh... I don't know. I don't know where this is where you go. Like if you're trying to sneak through the area, maybe this is where you go? There's no sneak in the game though. Is what kind of confuses me about all the like different paths. It's... Surely you still have to go into everybody. Let's wait for all of our followers and companions and all that to, to join us here. So what's this for? Just to watch the pass or something? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what that's for. This has got to be there for a reason. There's nothing. There's no way up here? Maybe you can be attacked from there somehow? Maybe if you say no to the Diamondbacks, they'll attack you? Possibly? I don't know. Maybe if you say no to the monk, something will be there. Okay. Well, time for our first... Uh, I see all in crowd. First shot with the new sniper. Boom. 74 is not bad. Okay, for a second there I saw red behind us and I thought, enemies behind us? No. Okay, so we can just kill them. That's good to know. That's very good to know. That we can kill them with the sniper. Alright, they're gonna get in close, but that's okay. I'm not worried about them getting in close. Luckily, our uh, fit servant of the mushroom cloud's not gonna go explode himself. Right, um. Switch that fire mode and go bang. Bang. Cool, and. Choose the middle one. That is really nice damage now. Okay, good. Solid. I'm gonna take a few steps out and then fire this way. Okay. Yep, switch to his melee weapon and get hit. Nice, do it again. Cool. Um, where are we? Grenade. As I, I pretty early on worked out I wasn't going to kill them all. Although actually with Z, uh, with Vac I might. But anyway. I'm already grenading. I'm already halfway there. There we are. I would like to be able to kill things without Vac. So. Copy Ranger. It's good that if. You know. It's good that we're doing that. The Takayuki just leveled up to 20. Which is great. Because he gets an extra skill point. Oh, attribute point, and he gets a skill point, so he's at seven now. What's opportune strike? Hmm. Um, blade. Attacks of opportunity deal more damage. He doesn't really get that many off, so that doesn't seem that useful right now. I'm going to put another point in demolitions for him, because that's kind of our main thing he does. Uh, Perk-wise, we'll think about it. Character-wise, which one do we want? What's intelligent? Intelligence gets us an action point, so it wouldn't get us an extra skill point. See, if we could get up to a four, that would be more useful. Charisma's unnecessary. Speed increases his combat speed. Gives him an action point, which is nice, because I don't think every level... Of, oh no, every level of speed does give an action point. Okay. He gets an action point, gets an evade, but he doesn't get, like, the combat initiative. An extra point in strength. That gives him carry weight, action point... Critical hit damage with melee weapon, con, and con per level. That's pretty good. Awareness gives him a combat initiative. It's not quite as good as the... Oh, wait, no, that's if he... Oh, these are, those are stacking. I see. Uh, Yeah, that's not amazing. Luck is unnecessary. Coordination. Gives him an action point. I think we take the point in strength. Yeah, I think we firmly commit to him as a tank. 
Which is fine, because that's effectively what he is. So, that works for me. And then Perk? Larger area of effect when using explosives seems amazing. Is there anything that even compares? Base armor is interesting. Healthy is interesting as well, but... Like, some of the healthy ones are unnecessary. Like, if he had that extra health and still died, well, you know... Like, what can you do about it? Uh, he... Like, we were obviously in a bad position. Weathered is interesting for less critical hits. I think that could be useful. But I also think Bomberman immediately sounds more useful. I think Weatherman... Or, sorry, I think Weathered would be useful later in the game. Which is why I think we can leave it. I also think I should maybe just get this guy shotguns. Because <laughs> I have a lot of shotguns. I mean, I know I put three points into submachine guns. But hear me out here. We could give him shotguns. And then he can use the shotguns. But then he brawls when he's close anyway, so I've changed my mind. I, I don't know. If I'm honest, Ralphie, you're a bit garbage. But, wait a look at this. If I put one point in intelligence, he gets an extra skill point per level. He doesn't get any this level, but that means we're getting three from now on. Three is a little bit more work. We can work with three. Okay. I mean, not that I think Ralphie's a permanent party member for us, but, you know, still. Cool. It's cool. Right, head up here. That is indeed a pig. And Tom M and Alexi K. Okay. Uh, where does this lead? Is this going forward? Ah, this is the exit, right? Wait, what's that say? Abandoned yard. Never mind, it's not the exit. So where does this go? Hmm. Looks like this should be a fight area. Oh, a digging area. Uh, scooter? Dig. Hmm. Yeah, see... What's that? Wait a second. One distribute and two. Why is that glowing? Strange place for a refrigerator. Yeah. Let's disable the alarm on it. Just a failure. You know what? Uh, what is the chance? Okay, it's only a 5% chance of critical fail. And a 76% chance of, pa of uh, hit, you know, passing. Okay. Okay. You notice that there are steel rods about three inches into the diameter extending, uh, must be hydraulics. Add to that the wires of an alarm and explosive booby trap and it looks like someone really wants to keep you out of the cold storage. I think this is the entrance to the guy's base? That would seem very likely. Given where it is on the map and the fact that it's got like these skill checks in front of it. I'm gonna quick save again. At least we can't set off an alarm. Because, you know, we already disabled it. Oh, yeah, you see there, that's... Um, a, bl uh, a bl blank wall of stone seems to mark a dead end. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, can you lockpick that? No. Yeah, it's just telling you that is a lock thing. But you can lockpick this, or you can safe crack this. Uh, well, that seems like a good point to put a point into safe cracking. We don't have enough. Hmm. Quick save, try it. Also, if you know the combination... It's gonna reload. I was thinking if you know the combination, you can do it. Were we given the combination? Don't know. Let's have a look. Um, watch out for the mark of lads of uh, Gads. Then, oh, wait, actually, this this would imply this is not the place. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna try it again. Still might not work. Also, this is bugging me. Oh, I didn't want everyone to be selected. What's um? Wait, what's that say? Rusty old minecart. Okay, it was kind of bugged for a little bit. That's fine. And... Just open. It's easy as that, just open. 
just open. Oh, there we are. And inside that is a computer. Uh, okay. Computer blinks at you vacantly. You'll need some hacking skills or a passcode to access it. Uh, well, we could put on our computer science thing. Well, we have a chance, but you know, let's see. Oh, wow, it's just straight up a code. Well, we have no chance of doing that unless we can push up our computer science. Which we can. Okay. I'm going to put a point in there. Commit. Right. What's our chances now of doing it? This is the 35. I kind of want to know what's in it. So I'm going to do it. I think this is going to be interesting. And... Failure. Oh. Do it again. Except this time, just don't critically fail, okay? Alright, do it again. Stat-wise, it should critically fail on this attempt. But it didn't. Okay. Hello? Stop where you are. Identify yourselves. Shit. You assholes brought a mad monk with you? Uh... Watching you from her post is a hard-faced female lieutenant with a high and tight buzz cut and a mouth that looks like a scar. She gives you a withering once over. Your names! Now! We're rangers. Rangers? Wait a minute. I know who you are. You're the assholes who've been killing our boys every chance you get. Oh boy, howdy. If it was up to me, I'd be telling my gunners to turn you into a fine red mist. Unfortunately, I got over to take you alive, if possible. Now, you gonna spoil my fun and surrender those guns quietly, or do I get to tell my boss you died resisting arrest? Who is we? We don't have to answer your questions, Rangers. You answer ours. Diamond back militia? I'm asking the questions, Rangers. Who is your boss? No names till we get you on board. You want us to give up our guns? Damn right. They'll be waiting for you when you get back, but you're not getting through this gate packing heat. Now you see that there? I'm looking at that. That snake, is that a diamond back, you reckon? You can have our weapons. Very smart. Now come on through. Also, you killed Shapiro? With an MRE on him? What's that? Now here's the question. Do we want to do this? They're definitely the Diamondback Militia. Hear me out. I'm gonna reload. I, I usually wouldn't like to reload, but I also really don't want to be on the bad side of the Mad Monks. So now that we are sure this is what this is, which we're kind of sure that this is what it is, we're just gonna move on, and then we're gonna come back. Once, once we've ditched the Mad Monk. But we, we now know what that is. So we can come back here whenever. Right. If you damn car, I need to get through. Don't get involved, Rangers. They've each got a monk escort. Hello. Oh great, now the damn rangers are involved. You've got the damn rangers involved. I got them involved. You're the one making a scene. If you just move your piece of shit car out of my way. You've got some nerve calling my car shit. I'll tear your throat out. You know what? Let's try a smart-ass approach. If you look closely, you'll see that there's plenty of room for both of your shitty carts. Stop being stupid and move around each other. You sons of bitches. I'll... Oh, you're right. Damn, guess so. Can't believe I almost got myself killed. Guess the crazy is contagious in this canyon. Guess we were just being pig-headed. Eh, eh, get it? Ugh. Alright, Bessie. Let's take it around to the right. Good. Your pig's name is Bessie? Mine too. Huh, I guess we ain't so different after all. Ugh, that's some sappy shit, you bunghole. Just move out of my way. We did it. 
We've solved the ultimate mystery. How to get two people to cross a very small bit of space. Alright, so this takes us back to Gary. Okay. So the Diamondback Militia are right there. Alright. As in they're right next to where we need to go. So this last path must take us to the end of our road. Where we can hand in our tribute. Right? Yeah. I think so. What's going on over here, Clyde? Water, please. You have water? Hmm. Rangers, thank God. At the end of our rope, please. You have any water? Dying. Here you go. Oh, thank you for the water. You've really saved our asses. Can't imagine we would have ma lasted much longer without your help. You ran out of water? Ironic, right? Water merchants dying of thirst? Well, we were robbed. Broad daylight. Took everything we had. 800 gallons of Pris B Pure. You were robbed? That's right. Mark Titan, Monk Escort, Armed Guards. Whole shebang. Those bastards still attacked. Shot that poor servant of the Titan before he had time to pull his pin. Raiders, I suppose, though they didn't look much like raiders to me. Not nearly scruffy enough. Tell us more about these raiders. Not much more to tell. They took all our cargo or supplies too. Looked more like... Well, they kind of looked like rangers actually, except for the black uniforms. They talked like rangers too. All captain this and sergeant that, as they were fighting. They were wearing uniforms? Yup, no insignia though. Real professional outfit, but heartless. I mean, they didn't butcher us for the sake of butchering like the a raider might. Uh, but they left us out here in the middle of nowhere with no water and no medical supplies without a backward glance. Knew we were going to die slow and awful, just didn't care. Need any other help? Thank you. If you got a medic, we'd be grateful if you gave some of our wounded a look. But what we really need is for somebody to go to the outpost station east of here and tell the monks we broke down and need assistance. We sent Boo out a couple days ago, but he never came back, and I ain't got anybody to fit enough to send after him. We'll do it. Thank you. Thanks so much for the water. You've saved our lives. If you ever find yourself in Demont to look us up, we got a little water sto store there. We'll fill you up for free, no charge. On closer inspection, you notice that the spigot that dispenses water from the truck is wide open, and the ground below it is slightly muddy. The water truck has no water. Well, I mean, we have a medic, so let's see what we can do. Those two are, t are dead, but let's go for, I don't know, pain relievers. Is that going to work? Hoping that's going to help them. Um, does this count? Guess not. And they got two goats. Okay. I was kind of... Like, expecting some more. Maybe have to use proper medical supplies on them, but I suspect that that was just flavor text. Okay, so this leads around here. These monks sure have strange ways of thinking about things. A column of smoke rises over some low hills to the north. The smell of burning bodies is on the wind. Under the lee of an undercut canyon wall, you find the smoking ruins of a large raider camp. Burned bodies are everywhere, food for the vultures who flap away at your approach. The whole place smells like barbecue and death. Okay. Hmm. Right. The canyon narrows ahead and you see a chain link fence that stretches from wall to wall, uh, blocking the way. In the center of the fence is an open gate and two servants of the mushroom cloud standing guard. As you approach, one of the monks at the gate steps forward, holding up a hand. Brother Gorski says, Hail, brother. Hail, travelers. Please, pass through. Yeah. A round-faced uh, monk with bushy eyebrows and a bustling manner. He also has a robotic left arm and a left leg. He holds up a metal hand as you approach. Hail, brother. How may I help you, travelers? Um, we found some water merchants who'd been robbed. They say you want, uh, they want you to send help. Are you speaking of Clyde and his boys? This is terrible. We will send a wagon for them at once. Thank you for letting us know. Do you know who robbed them? Men in uniform. Inf infiltrators. Yes, we've been hearing rumors of these villains for more than a week now. 
and the number of incidents is increasing. I fear these are no ordinary raiders. I submitted a report to Father Enola at the temple about these men. I sent some of my brothers to learn more. They have not yet returned. It is most worrying. I hope Father Enola replies with orders soon. Uh, we found the bodies of some raiders who were attacked along with a monk. Typical, isn't it? That they dismiss their own wrongdoing as if it were nothing. Nonetheless, this is very serious. They might have only been they might have been only raiders, but they still fell under our wardship. And the loss of any brother is tragic. Their attackers must be punished. I will file a report immediately. Any problems with raiders? Raiders without monks accompanying them are not protected, but the servants of the Mushroom Cloud do not discriminate. Any who pay tribute may receive our stewardship and shelter under Titan's peace, even raiders with monks. You even protect raiders with es- You protect raiders with escorts? Anybody who vows to pay tribute gets the protection of Titan and shelter under Titan's peace. If one under our protection attacks another alike, that's cause for punishment. But if someone without a brother walking with them is attacked, or they've got no one to blame, they've got no one to blame but themselves. They should have gotten an escort like everybody, everyone else, or tried harder to keep theirs alive. Okay, we found some dead monks at outpost too. They were ambushed. An ambush, such villainy. They, this cannot go unpunished. I'll send a further report to Father Enola. We found some uh, DBM. Ooh. I don't think I want to say either of those yet. Can you tell us about your robotic appendages? Titan Bless, Brother Kyle, uh, Dr. Kyle. I had the misfortune of being caught in a blast when one of my brethren detonated his nuke grenade and became one with the Great Glow. It cost me an arm and a leg. I thought I was going to die, but Dr. Kyle, the surgeon at our hospital, is a miracle worker and fitted me with these amazing prosthetics. Aren't they incredible? I am forever in her debt. How can I get prosthetic like that? If you have the money, Dr. Cal will take care of you. You don't have, you don't even have to have a damaged limb. Just ask at the Temple Clinic for Dr. Kyle's special services, and they will take you to see her. Uh, we're just going to click through these ones, because we've actually read all of these before. Yeah, the, the, I'm just going to quickly skim them, but yeah, the, there's nothing new in any of these. These are literally the same thing again, just phrased slightly differently. Yes, okay. But I am going to click on each of them so that we unlock any potential information about things. But I don't believe that there's going to be any, which is why I'm not that worried about it. We can always scroll up. Yeah, he's telling us about mutually assured destruction again. Wonderful, wonderful. Cool, goodbye. Uh, if you get to the temple without three containers of sludge, uh, the gate is staying tight shut. Well, I have my sludge. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to. Oops. Alright, in here. Bang. No. Weapon jam. Great timing. Fantastic. Didn't kill anyone. Okay, um... Up here. Switch weapon fire mode. Bang bang. Okay, that was good. Out here. Oh, like an execution. Okay, right. Fire. The Uzi can't fire really. Uh, head up the hill. Chisel right up front. Uh, and then just be ready for ambush. Now, can we chuck a grenade in that far? We could, but now it'll hit everyone thanks to us upgrading grenade size. Um, pickaxe, switch, run up, be prepared. Dax got one. We should be fine because we actually have another shot from uh, heat as well. He still had a shot after all that running? Two shots? Wow. Okay. Well, we got somebody who was named. OK, 
Okay. Don't know what we should be saying about that, but... Okay. Anything else along here? Wait. Something seems to be buried here. Yeah, what, what what's this? It's not the usual buried um, thing. What is up here? It's a box. It was trapped, huh? Well, we didn't discover the trap. Oh, fantastic. Well, I mean, it is. It's good. Don't get me wrong, actually. It is good. But my my fantastic is like... Well, we got exploded, and then we... What did we get out of the box? An explosive. No, just a little heal. You don't actually need a large heal. We're going to go to a doctor soon. Just, like, some pain meds. Cover over the cracks. Stop you from dying immediately. You still got 40 health. You can take a shot, maybe. You know, it's not the worst thing ever. Right. We could tell them we found some Diamondback Militia there as well if we wanted to. I kind of have my doubts about the Diamondback Militia, which is why I didn't necessarily want to go down that storyline. But we'll see. There's the silo. As you might, you can't find any way to open the door. There are no switches, levers, or buttons anywhere near it. Not even a keyhole. It seems sealed uh, shut. Hey, folks. Hello. Werewolf Wally here. And say, has anybody else in town noticed robots coming out of the old airplane graveyard? I don't want to alarm anyone, but I thought those things were dead. Hmm. Uh, anybody hearing this? Hector? Mags? Hey, anybody? Uh, come on, folks. Don't leave your old pal Wally in the dark. Come on. Uh, call if you're reading me. Hello? Hello? I just noticed that the radio has positional audio. So if I rotate the camera, the radio changes thing. I think the radio has audio from one of the characters. Probably your main character, as in your first one. So I think if you point at your main character, the radio gets louder, which might explain why it was really quiet. Because if we were facing the other direction, the radio would sound would have been going the other way. Okay. I know we went straight into the temple, but that's because we know what's in the previous area. Right. So we're here, and you know what? I am going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.